One of the most damning aspects, pun intended, in productivity is something called a bottleneck. A bottleneck is literally something that chokes people or processes and also causes jams on either sides of it and has cascading effects across a business or a process system. So today I thought we could spend a little time understanding real bottlenecks. Hello, I'm Sandhya and welcome to Dynamic Living. A bottleneck is literally a point of congestion, whether it's an assembly line or a computer network or a company that creates blockages and this typically happens when things arrive too quickly from one side and there simply aren't enough resources on the other side or bad planning, bad, bad processes, all of which lead to hitches in production, increased production costs in the long term, but have far more devastating effects down the line. In companies, this, of, this often happens when people further down the line don't meet their deadlines or clients don't give in projects or feedback on time or senior ups don't do it, as a result of which resources are jammed to deliver on time. This also happens when processes in companies simply aren't clear or there are too many of them or they're not addressing the real problems faced by people who are customer facing or actually hands on with the process itself. In short, very often this happens because of a communication gap or because of not enforcing processes properly. But the effects of these can lead to low morale within a company, can lead to burnout, stress, can lead to, can lead to very real loss of revenue as well. This is one of those nightmare companies that you just don't ever want to be a part of. But very often we find that we can't help it. Now, Let's think of how companies typically deal with these situations. Unfortunately, very rarely do they actually address the real bottleneck. We throw piecemeal solutions at this problem by giving incentives to people over time for them to work longer and harder, or we give them SOPs and rewards in the hope that, that this will make everything else go away. But none of these really works in the long term. And you know what? We do this very often with our lives as well. How often have you felt pulled in different directions, overrun, overwrought, overwhelmed? And how do we deal with this? We deal with it with booze, with binge watching, with partying, with little rewards, with little breaks that we take for ourselves. But we don't address the real bottleneck in our lives. With the company, it could be processes. In our own lives, the bottlenecks could simply be situations that we've put ourselves into because of certain oughts and shoulds that we believe we have in our lives, crazy standards of perfection that we have for ourselves, unhealthy relationships that we just feel too scared to take a stand on or, or try and seek change for, for ourselves. But we have to understand that everything comes with a price. With the company, its inefficiencies, its high costs, it un its unhappy customers, its a workforce with a high turnover rate and low morale. In our own lives, the costs are even more devastating. These could wear us down, break us, cause us to be deeply unhappy, and yes, even kill us. The answer to all of these is to sit back and analyze whether it's a company, whether it's a process, whether it's a network, whether it's your life. Understand what the real bottleneck is and do know that until you address that, you're never going to be able to remove the choke that's in the system. And without removing the choke, you can never ever get into your flow. So let's get down to identifying the real bottlenecks in our lives. Thank you for watching.